it's all part of the plan. Hello, everybody. Hi. Welcome to Talk Radar again. Say hi, everybody. Hi, this is PlayStation editor Michael Raparez. And this is Nintendo editor Brett Nelson. You're games. really quiet. Bring your fucking mic down. Yeah, of GamesRadar.com. There Much you go. Better. Yeah, whatever. And I'm Christopher Antisa, and it doesn't matter. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> did everybody have a good 4th of July? Sure. Yeah, it was okay. Wow. <laughs> okay. Did everybody get drunk? No. No. No? No, I, I got scared by the fireworks and crawled under my couch to escape. God damn it, that does not lead into my anecdote very well. Unless... Okay, I was uh, drinking with uh, our own Pauly Ballnuts and uh, Paul Ryan of Cheat Planet and Rich uh, went and bought him. Mm. <laughs> and Rich made... Uh, we had a little 4th of July party that, you know, thanks you guys for not showing up. But anyway... Canada! Whatever. Michael, your excuse? Was I even invited? Anus hole. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> but uh, we were having a little party, and Rich made proper good vegetarian chili. I love good vegetarian chili, because when you can't tell the difference between that meat chili, totally numbified, everything comes together. It's like Adam splitting, <laughs> which leads me to our next story. I ate so much of it, and then I went out to this bar, and, and Rich and I are talking to these women, and... Um, one of these women says says something that I pretend to laugh at, like you do with women, <laughs> and and I, dude, all of a sudden, like oh, <laughs> I just I just I just farted, so it, but it wasn't like it wasn't a little fart like that. I wish it was just it was a prolonged fart, so I just had to continue laughing over it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, eh, oh, uh, it. But, uh, <laughs> oh my god, we are smack dab in the middle of Babes Week. Actually, by the time this posts, it will be the end of Babe Week. Not if I get it done early. <laughs> Won't happen. <laughs> That's true. Babes Week. Who's your favorite babe? Don't say your mom. Jill Valentine. Really? Yeah. Really? I don't know why. I don't know why. I really poked fun at her for looking like fucking Blossom with that stupid hat. Well, take the hat off. I'm not worried about the hat. Even when she doesn't have the hat on, she ties a stupid sweater around her neck like Mr. fucking Gilligan's Island guy. Do you know what Jill Valentine looks like? I do. I was handling all the goddamn assets. She's in a skirt and she's... Yeah, yeah, that one game she's got a stupid shirt tied around her. I don't care. I don't know which game we're talking about. Resident Evil... I don't know. It's one Toad of them. Umbrella. Got it. Toad Umbrella Chronic. <laughs> Veronicaville. Anyway, we got a uh, proverbial fuck ton of babe stuff. For you to look at. Did anybody have anything in particular they found uh, babelicious or hilarious or boner inducing? Well, some mm-hmm. people. I'm actually, actually getting sick of hearing the word babes at this point. I, I hate the word babe. I think that I think that should have gone out with tubular. Yes. <laughs> I, I think it. I think it was gone for like six or seven years, and then suddenly it decided to come back about two or three years ago, where it was okay to <laughs> not even not okay, but not uh, not an instant uh, deal breaker if you say babes. I can't mm. stand it. I, I, can't, I don't like that word. What, what happened to walking axe wounds? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, more stuff that's going to be edited. Great. Um, <laughs> what is with all this hatred, Chris? Where is oh, it coming I from? Should, I should explain. I, I am just trying my best to be irreverent, and to do so, I drink about... Oh. <laughs> I, I drink a bit of vodka and a warm Tecate... To oh, see God. if it would make it funnier. So please, we have a talk radar f- uh, feedback form. Tell me, and I'll get drunk next time. Well, okay, anybody who tells me I'm the funniest when I'm drunk wins a prize. How about that? Oh, Elston, what is the prize this week? I don't know. Either. Anyway, top seven shower scenes. In games. In games! Which somehow became like a, almost a breakdown of the actual shower units themselves. <laughs> Not sure... I don't know. It's kind of a, a strange twist. I... Well, it's from the UK, and they had a lot of success with the water effects article. That's true. Uh, strange. That is true. 
an article about water effects did very well. I can see it in the presentation. H2O is a big one. We're uh, 90% water. The <laughs> earth, the, <laughs> the earth is covered in a lot of it. There you go. That's where I was going. So how about we talk showers, boys? But I, I didn't. I see. You know, we normally go over the top seven, but. I feel like an ass. I, I I haven't really played any of these games. I played Enemy Zero on my Saturn because I bought it in a pack of forty Saturn games, <laughs> <laughs> along with like D two and. Oh. <laughs> is it, is it, is it, is it, I'm just going to read them off real quick. Can anybody tell me some fond memories of any of these games? Number seven in the uh, top seven shower scenes. Enemy Zero. Number six. Psy Girls. Oh, that game had a great shower. So. <laughs> 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 oh, Number five, uh, Fatal Frommy three. Uh, frame. Ah, excuse me. Um, number four, Rumble Roses. Number three, gotta keep going. Parasite <laughs> EB. Number two, Dead or Alive three. Number one. Number one. Hold on, I'm gonna cue the general effect. X Eno Saga episode I I I. There's no monkey ball in Xeno Saga. You're yeah. welcome. Xeno Saga episode triple, and I've never played a Xeno Saga game because if you put the word saga in your game, I'm going to think it takes a long time, and I'm not going to touch it. I, I would just like to say I don't really have a problem with the way that the the UK writers decided to format this because I mean, come on, it's a shower scene. What the hell are you going to write about it aside from lol boobies? Look at like, all every boobs. entry. No, that's true. Uh, it's boobs. just like. It's boobs, just like, thighs, ass, boobs. <laughs> uh, a lot of people, that's the impression they get of the site, so that would just be oh, true to form. True. That, that, is, that is what our reputation is. So. Not necessarily our fault. If it didn't work, we'd stop doing it. Yeah, if you guys would stop clicking on it, we wouldn't yeah. do it. You <laughs> made us, you bastards! Yes. And uh, I got news for you, because I worked on Overlooked Babes, which was kind of fun because the more Babes features I do, the more vulgar I get to be. <laughs> because I'm not really the type of guy who can look like, oh man, those tits were hanging out like nobody's business. <laughs> like I can, I can, I can kind of only make jokes about fucking animals and severed heads. Like it, <laughs> about fucking severed heads. Fucking severed animal heads. Ooh. Hey, I was, you see what you did there? I saw it. I'm gonna put it in Candy Kong's neck hole. <laughs> 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 that was almost a supervillain laugh. You notice how I kept it? I kept it appropriate. I said, "Put it in." <laughs> it could not cops, not mine. <laughs> no, <laughs> talking about dicks, people. Dicks, dicks. No, but like the number one on this list was that Xeno Saga, and I watched it, and it, it wasn't like it was the top seven shower scenes. It literally read like it was the top seven showers because the number one in the list isn't like the sexiest scene in it. Yeah, it's the badass shower that I'm like, I want to take a shower in that. Which is funny, but it's funny. Uh, what? <laughs> well, I mean, why? Because the shower scene. Because I thought it was like a sexy thing. Yeah. And I, I wanted to get fodder for that to talk about it in the podcast. I'm so I, I don't mean to give shit to the UK. I love the UK's article. I just didn't have time to read it this week. I thought the shower scenes all were as about as sexy as the ones in Schindler's List. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, I'm safe. Oh, I'm sorry. Here, I'll get myself this. Uh, <laughs> that may not be enough. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that, I don't think that's currency at the unemployment office. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you act like I made Schindler's List. <laughs> Do you guys accept Mario sound effects? <laughs> He's laughing. Laugh out loud, like, Michael. With exactly five dollars. <laughs> Market. Well, babe week. Where are we going with this? Well, the the larger thing here is that uh, some people may say, some may say, which is the one thing they teach you in journalism school there's not to ever to say, say, is some say because there's no attribution there, but because you would be Fox News. Yeah, or the internet. And in this case, <laughs> uh, are you going to light up right here in the office? It's comforting to hope. You've got it. the cigarette out. Like I guarantee the sprinkler. <laughs> Sprinklers will go. No, I, I'm, I'm really, I am seriously just had a couple drinks, and I just need to hold a cigarette. I'll take my lighter. Oh, there you don't go. throw lighters, dude. Take, take my lighter away from me, but I'm just going to hold it. Do you realize this is being recorded, right? I do. I do. And that's All right. Kind of All right. He's, he's hamming it up. Look at him. I'm not hamming it up. I, I'm trying not to slur. All right. Uh-huh. Anyway, you think there's any gas in here? I hate my oh, mother. Hey. All right. Uh, so, yeah, the babes thing. Uh, you could argue that... Uh, we're making a week on babes is not exactly the greatest idea in the world. It's very, it's a cheap idea and it's simple. But the point is, it works. And also, that the larger point here is, I think 
there aren't that many original ideas still to be had in video game internet webs like that topic. I think it's as far as journalism goes, because a shower, a top shower scene isn't an original idea. I no, guarantee yeah. Hustler did that in 1969 when, you know... Yeah, all that was going on down there. was the size of, <laughs> the size of Chihuahua dogs. They were doing fucking shower scenes. Why? Don't look at me like that. No, I was just going to say, you made the point, Brett, that we, we write about a very narrow band of topics, and as such, it's, it's pretty difficult to come up with yeah. new ideas within that context. So, uh, a related, and this, this is a little bit of insider GR info, and also some people listening, if you're actually in the industry, uh, thanks, uh, insight into something that happened that caused a bit of a tussle. Um, a tiff! Tiff, a, a rigamaroo, I don't, I'm running out of words here. <laughs> a kerfuffle, even? A kerfuffle <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> you don't even know what that means. I don't know or care. A Bali fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone tits up. Uh, a cluster shard. A cl- <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> <laughs> you should not be allowed near the English language anymore. <laughs> I'm going to combine words like a mad scientist until something gets funny. All right. Anyway, god damn, the point is. Last year there was a story we did about like it was it was kind of a it was a like a, a best in breast story about boobs. That's it. Boobs. A story about boobs. And we had a guy from one up uh write an article and in his bl- <laughs> in his blog basically calling us and out I- and saying we stole the idea from him when it's like well not really because uh it's just an idea about boobs and Ours was kind of wrapped in this breast cancer awareness month. It was written by a girl whose mother, I think, was actually how like it was. It was a, our article was written by an actual a female vagina, vagina proprietor. Yeah, and and not that that like makes it better or any. I'm not arguing quality at all here. I'm just saying like that's not an original idea. And the reason he pointed it out to us and to the world with by doing it on the internet was because earlier that year we posted a story that accused IGN of copying one of our ideas. That was not everyone in the office's decision. It wasn't a very <laughs> it, it wasn't a very good one because the idea Hold on, for a little information. I, what if what if I link this to the podcast page, the article? I don't think question because I loved it because this IGN stand for I got nothing. Yeah, well, ideas it's, got none was what ideas we ideas got none. Yeah. Imitating Games Radar now. And I'm putting we in quotes there. <laughs> we meaning Games Radar. Yeah. Uh, the thing was, we posted a story that was like, IGN's run out of ideas. We, we're we the idea factory, and we came right. up with this idea, which was just, I think it was just something very basic, like the best games of the previous generation. Uh, it was it was two things, yeah. It was yeah. first that there was a, like a seven franchises, uh, we did a top run. seven franchises that had been run into the ground, and then IGN, like two weeks later, did a top ten uh, same concept franchises right. that have run their course or whatever. And, they and, were... um, and then uh, a little while afterward, yeah, we did like the you know top 25 games of the last generation. And then right. like a week after that, they did top 25 games of the last generation. Yeah. It was in fear. So like it was in fury. I remember watching that. Like it really was too close to not. You were like, fuck, you guys already have way more readers than we do. Why are you doing this to us? Yeah, but the point is that's not an original idea. That idea has been done to death not repeatedly all. by all websites that have fucking writers on them. The top of whatever of whatever. Like, it, do- it just doesn't matter. The point is, we shouldn't have done it in the first place. It's not like everyone here was like with fucking I'm not flags. Saying, I'm not saying we should have done it. I'm not saying we shouldn't have done it. The, the atmosphere at the time was that our editors were genuinely upset to see the big dog that we have to go up against and we currently at the time we had like a third of the traffic of completely emulate what we were doing like right following it. Uh, the thing is they weren't emulating what we were doing. Those were, that was a very safe article. They would be emulating us if they did shit like top 7, you know, any one of the top 7s that we've done that are th- are, th- are articles Lately. that most that large sites don't do because we can kind of argue our way out of getting in trouble with them. We can well, we do. We posted all kinds of stuff that gets us phone calls from companies, and then we just are like, yeah, 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 well, whatever. But the point is, it's just, we don't do a lot of, you know, we don't get a lot of first hands-on preview and first first exclusive reveal, except for Mega Man 9 and uh, <laughs> and Ana Chanbara for Wii, apparently, today. Um, but yeah, that's and that's what we do, is features. So it was weird in this case for, like, feature that we put up to be the same. The point is, we should not have posted a story on the site calling out a company that actually we used to own uh, many, many years ago. <laughs> uh, 
I just wanted to say that the that the article that we posted calling them out on it was done kind of in the spirit of tabloid journalism. It's like, hey, let's just get in there and mess things up and like start a war and it'll draw readers and it'll be great. And that just completely backfired. Yeah. And it, it started a war, but it was a war of everyone against us. So yeah. uh, that was dropped quickly. Why don't you love us? It, it was dropped quickly because it was a bad idea. Just yes, it simple. was a bad idea. It's a bad idea. But then I'm we just get, explaining like, what some of the rationale behind it was. Yeah. Mm. Well, the point is that like when we then got called out for allegedly stealing an even less original idea of boobs in games, <laughs> uh, failed to notice the fact that they're now accusing us of what we were accusing someone else of, which is stealing horribly unoriginal ideas. Like, <laughs> if we posted something specific, like say. The what if a nuclear bomb went off in Superman's ass, and yes. then and then next week IGN posted a what if Superman ate a grenade? Like then that would be like what the fuck, guys? But that's not what happened. These these were like basic ideas, and the point is it's the fucking internet, and we're all writing about video games. Ideas are gonna overlap, and you just yes. have to suck it up. We should have sucked it up when it happened. We were wrong, way wrong to that's go. That's what I, that's what I said. I've seen the movie Yojimbo four times. I've loved every one. Yo Jimbo, Fistful of Dollars, Miller's Crossing, and Last Man Standing. <laughs> Miller's Crossing is my favorite one, the second. Ideas don't necessarily get old. They can be elongated. They can be no, they you, can be better. Okay. You can do things. Yeah. And and then also as a, as a point to this, most recently, last week, both we and one up posted like most patriotic games. Uh, I would argue theirs list didn't make as nearly as much sense as ours because they had Metal Gear Solid 4, which is kind of the most... Seriously, have you ever played that game? I think they saw camo fatigues and thought patriotic. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's like, like most rednecks. And the U.S. is a puppet state controlled by robots. <laughs> <laughs> like helicopters, man. <laughs> which one of you guys pay me more? Because I'll be They're loyal. building the giant barrier between church and state. Eat them. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, the, but then like nobody co nobody called it out because guess what? It's Fourth of July. We're both game sites. What, what <laughs> do you think? I said I had that idea in December. I just couldn't use it. Yeah, like, it's like if we if we in Gamespot posted a story about best Christmas games, which we already <laughs> did, which we already did last year for Christmas. Yeah, uh, you can't get you can't argue about that. It you can't argue about Babe features. You can't understand. Uh, I, I'm I, fighting I, right now to put up the best Halloween games. <laughs> next week, but they won't let me until the 31st of October, yeah. you shitheads. And guess and what'll come out? We posted on Friday the 13th, the scariest villains. No one else did a Friday the 13th that I saw. Yeah. But come come Halloween, I bet that exact same feature will be done somewhere. Yep. And you just gotta fucking deal with it. Just live with the fact that... I, I, I spent a lot of time writing a history of game babes. It was gonna go up on a Friday. On a Wednesday, Game Daily posted a Game Babe photo gallery, like go through the ages, and it was another one of their fifteen one image, one paragraph things that you click through with no information, no anything is very and, empty. But it was the idea, and it's going to make mine look like I just saw it and went like, "Let's do our own." But then you look at ours, and it's got a fuckload of images, a bunch of text. Seriously, there's a lot more to it. Same thing. This also happened about stealing articles. Uh, People from Something Awful got a little miffed at us, and also readers did from Something Awful. Wait, wait, and let me a say site this. that I love. I, go I love Something Awful. I am not picking a fight with you crazy motherfuckers. I am not picking a fight I because I visit it, like, every day, and I love it. Uh, the site is fucking hilarious. However, who doesn't visit it every day is Charlie Barrett, the Charlie author Barrett. of this article we're about to discuss. Yeah, who was on last week. But this, this same article, you. this WTF world of Wikipedia... M much like the 4th of July story, much like the boobs feature, much like any other the, this thing we accused IGN of ripping us off incorrectly, uh, is an idea of, look how things on Wikipedia have... Trivial things have longer entries than things that actually matter. We had a huge article, we talked about it last week in the podcast. That's That idea is over, we've done it. Something Awful did it a year earlier. A fucking year ago, which is like a thousand years in internet time, and also theirs um, wasn't that great. Yeah, I, I just didn't think the one that they did, that they were like, hey, uh, you guys ripped our idea off of linking to Wikipedia. Uh, you look at theirs, and it's just links. It's just like, hey, this, is, this, this entry about Knuckles is longer than this list about whatever it was. The Knuckle. <clears throat> the Knuckle. And, uh, or was that cracked? First of all... No, for... that, that, was, that was something awful. Okay, so there you go. Like, ours was long and had a bunch of interesting graphs and images and, like, reasoning it why... Did. 
and it, it was character. And it had character. There was something. There was something of value there, not just like pointing something out. And I'm not saying theirs was bad because it wasn't. It was just. It was functional. Oh, I'm, saying, I'm saying it was bad. It, it was bad different because I never I saw it. it. I was bad. kidding. It was. It was different, and ours was much. There was much more of an article there, and you just can't accuse someone of stealing an idea such as basic as Wikipedia differences. Like it's that. <laughs> That's not and and again it was a year separated. F- after a year, every idea that was on the internet is fair game again, except uh, Rick Rolling, which I guess is indefinite. Hmm. And whatever happened to having fun in the same in the same spirit of Rick Rolling? Whoever who nobody knows who the fuck invented that. Yeah, like nobody, everybody can get behind it every time it's done. It came from 4chan, like everything else on the internet. Did it? Yeah, or so I hear. Fuck 4chan. Yes, I'm totally editing that out. <laughs> That'll be the end of us. Yeah. Perception that we're a bunch of fucking idiots that just write a bunch of nonsense and rip off ideas and whatever. We Is actually that? take great care to make sure we don't do the same things in a list. Regardless of what my articles look like, it yeah. takes time. It, we, takes it, it actually does take a lot of effort to put together something slapdash. I'll just yeah. say that. <laughs> Doesn't that and, suck? And to every other game journalist out there, if 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 you put something up that looks somewhat like ours, or we put up something that looks shockingly like yours, get over it. Seriously. We're, we're like, how many people, hundred, hundreds of people in this industry writing about a very finite amount of topics? It's yes. going to happen. Uh, yes. Shut up. Like, I we think you should shut up about it. They should shut Everybody should. It's not, I think you should like, add you fucking crybabies to that. Crybabies, including us. Uh, yes. I don't, I don't want to make it sound like we're going, you guys are being bitches, because we did it too, yes. and... We're not anymore. Anyway, let's move on to the next topic. Yes, okay. let's do. Well, let's go to break real quick. Oh, um, I'm also sick of blogs stealing screens and passing them off as their own. That's getting. Oh old. yeah, there is that. Like but, they did with Mega Man. <coughs> yeah, Man. <Man-9. laughs> but uh, whatever. Keep doing it. Come on. All right, we're yeah, gonna go we away. We'll be right back. When we get back, we're gonna talk about rock band songs or there's a E triple stuff. I'll do a toss then. Wait, okay, you go ahead. Do the outro, Brit. All right, now that we're off of, now that we're off of that very uh, touchy and sore topic. Oh God! Uh, I'm cool. sure we'll still make some asshole mad and come off as as yeah. we came off unfair. Let's go talk about something else, like a leaked list of Rock Band Two songs, like the entire fucking track list, and it's Woo! pretty, it's pretty cool if it's real, and also it being pre E three week. Let's talk about how shitty E three is going to be. Beautiful. Be right back, peeps. Talk radar. <laughs> it's about to burst with snacky happiness. I'm going to gamesradar.com. It's like the kids now, like they're gonna grow up without like Pac-Man, you know? Like it's, I thought that was like thought of that. I'm like, God, that's weird. Like they won't have it at all, you know? Like all those old, look at those large games. They won't have. They don't even know what it is. Like that's the. And the worst part about it is we'll be explaining it and looking like freaks. <laughs> we'll be explaining our video games. They'll be playing some new futuristic fighting game. We'll be like, Well, when I was your age, we had a game with a yellow circle. <laughs> And it ate dots and fruit. <laughs> and then it would be chased by ghosts. Oh my. Oh. That's great, Grandpa. And there was another game with a monkey. And he threw barrels at you. And you had to jump them or they'd hurt you. I gotta go, Grandpa. Wait, I didn't tell you about the frog who tries to cross the street. That game. And we're back. Hi, everybody. Yeah. Do I not, should I not talk about, like, a Minnesotan? That wasn't a very good Minnesota accent. Really? No. Can you tell I'm drinking? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. I wanted to mention this. We were just talking about um, competing websites. and Not necessarily IGN, but I got, a, I got an email from IGN today. Oh, really? Yeah. 
and in the uh, subject line was Animal Crossing. Oh, really? Yes. Apparently, uh, it has been 1,877 days since you updated your IGN wish list or collection <laughs> in Club IGN. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, please come visit our Animal Crossing guide. And you, they put their Animal Crossing guide up now? Surely not. Bitches, you're 2,000 days late almost. That's <laughs> It came out in 01. I no, know, but that's, no, it came out in 02. It's, it's been rare, but I remember like I had signed up for a lot of stuff there back then, and it's just yeah. so weird that I'm still getting it. I still get charged for Insider 20 bucks a year, and I've tried to cancel it. Are you it. kidding? Yeah. Oh, gross. I've tried to cancel it, and I just get this weird workaround that I'm just like, fuck it, fine, I'll pay $20. I just- know, I hate that. Have, did you ever hear that uh, AOL, uh, the guy trying to cancel AOL, yeah. and they won't let him? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm and trying to help you, sir. No, you're not helping me. You're not helping me. Same thing happened to me a bunch. I paid for AOL for probably four or five years without ever using it, and I tried to cancel five times. And uh, it didn't- I stopped using Insider when I graduated college and didn't just sit around reading all day during class. And that now you was do it doing work. Now I do it doing work. Only now <laughs> I just, I don't know. I'm not. I don't know. Whatever. I, I just don't use it anymore. And that's that was '04 when I graduated college. So uh, hey, but you know what? No. Games Radar would never do that to you. I know. We'd never charge you money, baby, for reading this site. Just come on. We'll give you all the info. And if we do a few years from now, so what we'll you want to know? So the new what? rock band songs? We'll tell you. Come on. Sit on my lap. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, allegedly uh, there was a list today leaked um, from a video that somebody's scrolling through all the songs of Rock Band. Yeah, 2. I don't. Think it looks reliable. It looks reliable, but there is the fact that, as people have pointed out, the background isn't scrolling as the store does. The Rock Band store does. Some of the names are misspelled. <laughs> I, I'm such a door. And really, uh, Brett confirmed for me, audience. I had said, okay, we need a moratorium on Rock Band. I know because you know, we all tend to play it every week. We can play it with each other. It's fun to play in the office. This is good news. I've been reading tons of Rock Band news, uh, of leaked lists, and this matches up. This seems like a, a pretty good amalgam of all the, the rumors I've heard. Yeah, this does. It's a, it's, a, it's a fucking huge list. It's even broken up into tiers. We'll have a link. Yeah, every time I kept scrolling down, every time I thought the tears were over, they kept adding a new descriptor that was even more horrifying. Yeah. Uh, There'll be a link on the site of Games of Radar. Let's put it this way. Uh, Blistering is the the third last tier of rock band songs. That's a lot of fucking songs. How many is that? I can't... I haven't checked. But uh, anyway... I'll dub it in later, like after in the middle of the podcast, you'll just hear... That's a lot of 63 songs. That's a lot of... But yeah, like some of these songs, like uh, Ace of Spades and uh, uh, Cowboys from Hell, were both in the first Guitar Hero. But I'm very excited to see them redone properly with the full band. Shit like November Rain, man. If that is if that is legitimate the song, is like what like five six minute song. That's pretty good. And mostly piano and violin. <laughs> I'm gonna see how that translates to my yeah. guitar. <laughs> yeah. uh, Stuff like What's the Frequency, Kenneth, I think will be a lot of fun. <gasps> I love that song. It's the Dan Rather getting beat up song. Yeah, it is. I love that song. Uh, what else we got in here? Uh, I like, I like, uh, they really, a lot of these songs are, yes, mainstream, cliched, I'm tired of hearing them, but they're perfect, and I yeah. I, I, I still love them, and like, and, and Everlong is a great example. Oh, like, yeah, that'll be fun to play. For every instrument, it's fantastic. Yeah, oh, yeah. Any Way You Want It by Journey. Oh Come my on. god, thank you. I don't have to download on a Guitar Hero. Come on. I, mean, I love you, Guitar Hero. I'm oh, on. and by the way, kids, we're giving away a Guitar Hero on tour. The podcast. <laughs> Forums. Do you want a copy of it and be part of the grand experiment that is Guitar Hero on tour? Yes. Uh, you could win a free one. Yes. Uh, what else we got? Uh, Metallica Fuel, which um, I had a little inside info about uh, from OXM <laughs> that. Oxum. In the official Xbox magazine mm. that they had ran an ad uh, that actually would say what what DLC was coming out, what dates for Rock Band, and "Fuel" by Metallica was one of the songs that was supposed to come Ooh. out. Give it fire! Ooh. And it and it never came out. And I mean, this may be part of just some elaborate hoax. And he's like, "Hey, I noticed that song never came out, and that's why it's in here." Or, "Hey, that would make sense because Harmonix already made the song, and it's just been sitting on it." Oh, was it was it kind of rumored that uh, Metallica has gone exclusively Guitar Hero? Like that'll be the next subtitle, the Guitar Hero game. I thought it was yeah. next year. 
Uh, not it's confirmed, but like, you know, sorry if you read the internet a lot. They also have a TNT from ACDC, which I guess is the first, first appearance of ACDC. You know what they have? They have actually, that is the second uh, of their uh, Tony Hawk menu screen songs. Oh, they have yeah. Ace of Spades by Motorhead as well. I like that they have, oh goodness, Chop Suey by System of a Down. That yeah. song is, is so much fun. And I really, you know how much I want to hate your new band's kids? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I want to just wag a finger and chase you off my lawn with a stick with your new fucking bands. But, uh, you know, the chops, the system of a down chop suey. Beautiful. Yeah. And, and, just so I can talk about Ram Jam Black Betty. Okay. Bring no, me no. to life. Bring me to life. Oh my god, Evanescence. I, okay. Uh, we do bitch you a lot about bad songs in Rock Band, but you know what? I do think they need one song that is fucking terrible. That's it. And that would be it. I, that is Bring Me to Fucking Life, a.k.a. I Ruined Daredevil single-handedly. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. I thought, I thought and it would I be... made Goffs twice as irritating. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, what is the audience of that song? That's like the audience that... I'm, I'm, I'm too young for chemical romance, so I need something else. <laughs> And that's uh, that's all I can do is make. I don't know. It's, every time I hear that song played, I feel like walking into a wrestling ring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the the audience of that song is fourteen year old girls, men who are actually fourteen year old girls, uh, wrestling fans, and frat boys, <laughs> who are all fourteen year old girls. You just described my my bookmarks in my porn section. I know. Um. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, basically there's a there's a big oh break. god, drain you by Nirvana. Very happy about that. I'm as we as we found out two podcasts ago. I'm a big Green Day fan. I'm more of an older Green Day fan. Yeah. And they have when I come around on here, which I'm happy to see the band on there. But that's also the safest possible song. It really is. It it's really like is. They could have picked. I Not mean, even look out or basket case. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't do long view or basket it's case. Like, long but, view, man. But I would. I, I mean, I would prefer something from. CDs older than that hey, because hey whatever. and more Clash and not just the hits I like Rock the Cash as, oh, as much as anybody mm. else but yes. they, oh my goodness you know what clamp down I want to say it now put the Clash clamp down mm. on my DLC <laughs> yes. White Riot White Riot god damn Spanish it. Bombs Spanish London Bombs London Calling London Calling Police and Thieves I'm happy to see Float On by Modest Mouse oh yeah because we're all going to I know it's just, right. it's such a pleasant song. It'll be the uh, it'll be the I think I'm paranoid of Rock Band Two. What? Explain. I don't know. It's just a very light poppy song that's really fun to sing. Actually, and- it is because I have a bunch of fucking indie uh, elitist pretentious art fuck sticks coming over to my house right now as we speak. Well, that's right. They, I they apparently am going to be there. Your and they all hate video games, but you know what? They're all addicted to rock band now, and I think and I think I'm paranoid did a really good job of that because especially the women and the more effeminate men have a great time singing that song because they all the, I, the drums in that song are good. They're like it's even on expert. It's like it's it's, 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 just, it's a good tough it's song, simple, but it's simple, but it's satisfying. No, exactly. It's not a hard song to play at all, but it's fun. Um, so yeah, you've got to make a walk of shame after this, I think, to go play rock <laughs> too. band that I think I'm participating in. I yeah, uh, we're, Michael is going to have to give the Carlos Brett and I a ride home. Oh man! And what? Yeah, wasn't How'd you think it was going to go, go that way? I don't know. Are you kidding? I was going to go through the sunset go through today. Oregon? Get a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Little uh, uh, insider San Francisco joke, eh? Just a little bit. <laughs> God, that's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> really annoying. So yeah, you've got to walk through the city with the bear. I got to walk through the city. I like. Uh, I don't know why. Again, bringing up Paul, fucking asshole Ryan in the podcast. That Aryan <laughs> douchebag who runs Sheep Man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, it's true. It's uh, true. He, he's refused to buy you his own rock. He's a Nazi. He's he is. He's a fucking. He's a Hitler hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> he's. He. Uh, he Refuses to buy Rock Band despite the exact same salary as me, and and the and the love of the game. So I just have to bring it over for ev- every time he has people coming over. That's annoying. I don't drive a car, so I have to pack up. All There's no shit. dignified way oh. to pack up Rock Band, regardless oh. of what they say about the bars, and bring it anywhere. And so, like, I have to ride the ride the bus. And you know what's what's more embarrassing than riding the bus with your Rock Band equipment? 
getting jacked on the bus for your Rockman equipment. Just the thing about holding on for dear life. No, my fake, these are my fake trumps. Wap. Has that happened? <laughs> no, but I mean that's that's even worse when when you're when you're traveling through the yeah. my awful neighborhood. Yeah. At oh my god, I, I I may link to it. Somebody wrote an article about my 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 specific block. Really? Yeah, I may you know made this out of this inter- interesting, but yeah, there's pictures and the, the there's there's a street and uh, there, on my street there's a, a street close to where close to right where I live that every every time I get off the BART from coming home from work I find it's covered in suds like I've seen that actually like insane Willy Wonka esque <laughs> and it, like it's it's a big fun rave and I'm like what the fuck is going on here and I finally ask there are so many people homeless people vomiting and shitting in the middle of the street it has to be hosed down until every day until these suds reach waist high in one of the busiest streets in san francisco that's how shitty the neighborhood i live in it i've seen Michael those Jordan. suds and wondered and what what was going on like when we ate we ate out of that vietnamese place yeah i was i was and i was I, like they're actually gonna blast us off the sidewalk with all this water I was a little unprepared today. I woke up kind of late, and I was dodging vomit, and then I realized I, I look like Fred Astaire. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we, you know what's slightly worse than just simply carrying rock band drums? What? Uh, yesterday, I, over. You know, yesterday, I took home, because I don't own Guitar Hero 3, because I kind of hate it. Yeah. Uh, so I borrowed it from work, and I took a guitar home to play the Top Gun anthem, which I played relentlessly and loved it. Um, such a fun song to play. Oh, my God. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> was walking. You already look kind of silly walking through the streets carrying a big fake plastic guitar. Then I realized I'm wearing a Guitar Hero shirt. <laughs> at this, oh, no. At the same time. And I pointed out to Carolyn, my girlfriend, and she gets a look of kind of like, oh, my God. Like, I understand that because, okay, get this. I'm a dad, and I have a young daughter at home. No, you don't. I'm just saying, I get like this scenario. Like, I, there is no it. excusable way, like... A, I'm bringing my daughter a Hello Kitty balloon. If I'm wearing a Hello <laughs> Kitty shirt with the balloon, I would be arrested. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, people would assume you work for Sanrio, one of the two. <laughs> yeah. I, w- I went to work wearing a Guitar Hero 2 shirt just because I'm at work. I'm not going anywhere else. That's well, a- shit, that shirt fits me really good. I love. Oh, I shirt. like the shirt. I've got no problem. i got no beef with the shirt. Hey, Activision, love that shirt. Hate your game. Just say it. Hey. There's a Guitar Hero. There's a Guitar Hero Two shirt. Oh my bad, my. But I'm shirts. walking through the street with my Nintendo bag, my Guitar Hero Two shirt, and carrying the Guitar Hero controller, and I was actually embarrassed to be alive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I want to just actually drop the guitar in the street, just be like, sorry guys, I. Uh, we brought to- that up before, but how? People work together. I will pay you. I will personally will pay Rock Band, and I will pay Activision, and and Harmonix an extra hundred bucks to. S- just share instruments. Yeah, I can't afford the space, the indignity of owning any more fake plastic <laughs> instruments in yeah. my time. I'm Same not, and I've already said I'm not going to play Rock Revolution because I'm not buying another goddamn drum. For the sole reason, though, I hope they understand that. Like, quit trying to make us. Yeah, buy that's more. the only reason. Otherwise, I would welcome a new. I can't new imagine, like, because you know, your game is a, no matter what, it's going to be third. It's not going to be first yeah. place. You're not going to unseat these two. Don't make your license it. Nice. Yeah. It, it'll be cheaper. I promise you. You have my word. So yeah, this uh, we're, we'll actually be seeing Rock Band two next week at E three. At E three, which you may have heard is next week. Um, and what you are may not going to be at E triple. We are going to be at E three. Right, Michael. A- you quit it, Mister. <laughs> what? Kidding, I thought trying to get your attention. Mm. Hi, Michael. My mind was wandering. I'm sorry. But your mind can't wander during the podcast. We need oh. it here. Ah. Uh. No more fidgeting with the power supply of your laptop. No! I'll show you fidgeting, you fucking no. assholes. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. Uh, what was the question? Yeah, we'll be at E3 next week doing the 10th podcast. The 10th Ooh. Talk Radar. TDRX, I think it's TDRX. TDRX. Yes. Now um, we're going to market it for the two days and no budget we have. Yeah, yeah. maybe the... We need to like spend several thousand dollars to come up with a brand new logo for it that will only be used that day. <laughs> well, if only our coverage. I don't care could what the logo T-R-X. looks like. I just want the THX logo to pop up before it. <laughs> <laughs> if only uh, we had our coverage sponsored by Sprint. 
<laughs> uh-huh. if only. Or maybe, you know, like Sun Kissed or something I else. It's as lame as that. Yeah. Sunny Delight. Sunny Delight presents Games Radar presents E3, the shitty edition. <laughs> Because regardless of what you've heard, E3 is going to blow this year. It's going to be oh, really God, lame. This is my first time. You guys have all done it before. It's going to be like last year was a shadow of the previous year. And from what I've heard, this year is going to be even shittier. But in the same building, the old good E3 used to be. And I'm one of the people that liked the big show. The big fucking awfully well, loud. I heard that. I heard that I from you. I love everything of- about the big show except having to wander and squeeze through the crowds of yeah. like people who've been you know, fucking both it's there. It's annoying, but I'm like, it's one week of the year that I get to act like I'm actually in a big industry. like, And we are, but it you actually feel it at that point. Because most of the year, we're just sitting writing all, all the time. Yeah. This is the one time of the year where you were like, holy crap, this is a big goddamn deal. Oh, and there's football. celebrities here, there's news crews here, there's all kinds of shit. It's not just the same guys from game trailers filming everything. Was there anything resembling a celebrity there last year? No, not that I saw. And I'm, you can't call Mr. Mullen you a celebrity just yet. <laughs> Damn. Sorry. No. But yeah, no? so we'll, we'll be there. And uh, some of the big rumors going right now is apparently our one of our uh, official UK magazines uh, already confirmed that Animal Crossing is going to show up from Nintendo at their press conference. Yeah. I will be unhappily sitting at it at 9 a.m. <laughs> With it's, registration begins at seven thirty. I'm like, Hi. I love that. The internet's gonna have to find it. Uh, it's just above meh. Yeah. Uh, mm. uh, yeah. There you go. Do it no, again, dude. Animal Crossing the Wild uh, World for the DS. I think it sold eight. Figures. I think it sold eight million copies. That's uh, a lot of fucking Animal Crossing, and, and I love what it. You said, what you said before that we needs a hard drive. We needs a hard drive. I so would. We needs a game to sell its hard drive. I know. Mm-hmm. That seems like a perfect fit. Those two things together. There's also a rumor there'll be a new PSP, which. If. I forgot the PSP existed about a year ago, so... <laughs> yeah. You I liar. What were you playing over your vacation? It's true. Over the we- over the vacation, I played Mega Man Powered Up, because uh, I was... You hadn't played it before? No, oh, which is weird, because I love old Mega Man, and... I just, uh, like, I love all that game until the new villains show up. I hated both their levels. There's only two levels. I just, you just run through Oil them. Man? No. Yeah, he's great. Not for me. Somebody but... pointed out wisely that Oil Man is also a big lip breakdancer who talks like, Yo, man, what's up? What up? So uh, that's mm. that was. I wanted to point this out. I keep re- reading uh, headlines today. Uh, Mega Man Nine receives DL will re- will receive DLC. Well, it didn't say what, but I wanted to see if you could elaborate. Well, okay, yeah, that was one of the things that they said not to say. And <laughs> since, uh, so, yeah, that's since, true. Where was that from? Everywhere. It's well, on, it, it's on. It's on. It's on all the sites. You know how it works. It, well, it, I mean, it was on since last night, so it's everywhere. Well, the point is, does it say question mark or does it say no? Done. It said somebody confirmed that there will be there will be DLC. But well, I kind of said already that there'd be more stuff to it. Is it a technicality because Mega Man Nine is DLC? Yeah, I know. that's like if I went out and bought Area Fifty One Black Site and it says will feature gameplay <laughs> <laughs> later. We'll add it yes. later. I don't know. Uh, when I played Mega Man 9, I saw the menu that had all that shit in there, and I wasn't supposed to say any of it. So, I, I don't know. I, do you want me to cut this out? What are you, what are you doing to me right now? No, I, the fact that if, if somebody... Give me something concrete. Give me something the readers want to know. Well, the, I can't. Like I, I'm, no, wait. I'm supposed to... Yeah, and fucking sever the really good relationship we have with yeah, Capcom. Yeah, yeah. Who have Just, been, like, very hey, good to... Hey, listeners, one of the, I One tried. of the few companies to really treat us right. Yeah, we're going to yeah. fuck that up. All right, you're right about that. Listeners, I tried, but you are absolutely right. It's one of the easiest companies it's been to deal with is Capcom. Yeah. With games, the we actually care. You know, we love reporting because we're all huge fans. Yeah, it's just it's very because you know there's plenty of other companies we love their games. We hate dealing with companies we hate uh, games. Companies we hate we, with the companies, companies we love dealing with. Companies we love dealing with with shitty games. That's also true. Capcom, Capcom is up there. It's, it's just the best of both worlds. It makes yeah, they make just, our, our job a whole lot. It's like exactly when I, we when we're doing something with Capcom, it feels like what I perceived this job to be when I was ten. Yeah, hmm. it's pretty true. Yeah. Hey, come see this. How about this early? Yeah, we should post this here. Have some assets. Yeah, because right. <laughs> they've got a good community blog and all this shit set up. Is so. that it? What is it? They know what so they just know what they're doing with the with the readers. They just hey, you want to come out to our headquarters and play Street Fighter? It'll be awesome. Yeah. Like, yes, I do. As a matter of <laughs> fact, I do. I'll be there. It's not a shameless rehash. We don't do this every four months. And I know you do. You guys are the king of sequels, but my God, I'll play every one of them. Yeah, yeah. 
Don't care about Devil May Cry. The game can fuck itself, but whatever. <laughs> really? Yeah, I, I got four on my, got four on my list. I don't hold on, it. hold on. We're gonna get back on track. Um, it actually can fuck itself, <laughs> <laughs> and it will be awesome. Yes. We got to go through this quick because we are running out of time in this here timely podcast. Okay, sorry. Back to E3 because we got we got distracted with our own bullshit. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, next gen. We had a next gen article on our site about the thirty most anticipated E E3 games. Uh, I'd love to point out quickly that the idea of the thirty most anticipated games is pretty much thirty games at E3. Like the, the first game on the list is Rise of the Argonauts. <laughs> and- yeah. But it wasn't just that, it was... Uh, which, which one guy in Next Gen was anticipating it to make yeah. the list? Oh my but... god, we we have to put it absolutely first. <laughs> that has and to be the game we, we anticipate the most. A, swap me down uh, like a, a steroidal fanboy, but number 23, Lox Quest. Mm-hmm. What the fuck is Lox Quest? I'd never heard of it until that very moment. It's an RPG. Apparently, we've I know that now. Of, said apparently we've run, we've run previews about it in the past. It doesn't matter. I've heard nothing about that. I've heard no excitement from the RPG geeks in our office who I avoid talking to. And <laughs> well, it came go. before. It's it's more anticipated than Beyond Good and Evil 2, Star Wars Force Unleashed, and Mortal Kombat versus DC. Th- that's that's what I understand. Like games like we're highly anticipated is Force Unleashed. How is it anticipated? Like we know almost everything about it. Not by us. No, I, I no, I, I mean in general, like the industry, like we've seen a lot of it, so that means other sites huh. have seen a fuckload of it. And I, yeah, I kind of no, Bruh. there's not. They don't have a like anything else to reveal. Like it, I know, I, I'll, I I'll be surprised if they have anything that shocks anybody to reveal but, on Force and Leash. And, and we're all excited about the game in the room. Yeah, yeah. I think the game looks all right, but I'm just yeah, like, no, I'm, how can it be on an anticipated list? What? It's been an, well, I'm looking forward to playing it. Therefore, yeah, I but, anticipate it. But under the guise of E3, like. In e- as terms oh, that's of, a good point. In it's terms been in of public E3? development for, for well over a yeah. year. We know that the secret Vader level, everybody knows about that now. Young Leia. Hello. Well, well yeah, Rise of the Argonauts, that I think I, the explanation is that it's like, Codemasters is making a game! Oh my god, we're from the UK, we have to put <laughs> that first. And, Forgot uh, about that. It's a small city, they all live in like the same one block area, Codemasters and Next Gen. And then, but what puzzles me is that the next one down is uh, High School Musical three. What the fuck is that about? I'm totally looking not forward to that. No, <laughs> no. Well, uh, and, you know, actually, now that I look at this, this list appears you know what? to be okay. A, Cross these off the list. Order. We, we will not be covering at E three. Just so <laughs> the, we will not be covering Rise of the Argonauts, High School Musical, <laughs> and Brett. No Star Wars Force Unleashed. There's nothing left to say. Nope. Yep. I agree. Uh, Locks Quest. Do we cover? I don't care. No. All right. Michael, we're going to start at Borderlands. Borderlands, I actually do think, looks a little interesting. It looks a little interesting, sure. but I have, a, I have a sneaking suspicion that's one of those games that will also not really be there. It'll be there, but it won't really be there. It'll be one of those games. Mm. So should we cover it or not? Sure, let's do it. Sure, let's do it. check it. it. Borderlands Mortal, it is. Yeah. Mortal Kombat versus this. I'm interested. I just want to play it. Mm-hmm. If there's, yeah. We already did a feature on it, kind of, with the characters you might see it's really exciting <laughs> yes have you ever played mortal Kombat? yeah <laughs> have you ever read I'm a dc comic maybe okay you have some idea of what you're going to expect yeah. and uh, uh, nerf gameplay on everybody's part. on everybody's part yeah okay mm-hmm. well we will be covering that boom awesome stalker clear skies do no. i can i no uh, no no it was really pretty but um okay uh, yeah, so I, it's it's only on a pc hold on I got addicted to Stalker, and I really don't care. You know, I'll, I'll care once I finish Stalker. Maybe I just. Eh. Are you Next. really playing Stalker? Off and on, yeah. Huh. No, Michael got a new computer, so he went back to playing PC games for like a second. <laughs> That's what happened. Don't lie. But what a second! Oh my god! <laughs> it's nothing compared to PS Triple. Do they have trophies on games for Windows? No. Mm. <laughs> oh, Beyond they- Good and Evil, Deuce. Yes. Uh, that'll probably be at Ubi's press conference, which is Wednesday, yeah. I think. Do it's we probably, cover it? Probably going to be another, it's there, but it's not there. Like, yeah. They'll, they'll be showing trailers on the floor and then like behind closed yeah. door meetings that we'll find out about after the fact. <laughs> yeah. It'll, it'll, they'll have been showing it. Do we cover? Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Somehow people care about that despite it consistently never selling and never really trafficking well. we got to go yeah. quick. We're approaching that an hour. A, it was a critical darling. Uh, Puzzle Quest Galactrix. I love it, but no one's going to read about it. 
That's yeah, right, because like, it's fucking how hexic. How much can you write about it? It's awesome. That's all I you may never even play it, because I hate hexic. I love the original Puzzle Quest, and that depresses me. It's good. I'm, I'm going to play it. It's... I don't care about a number next to an ogre. I want <laughs> I want to have fun. but Jewel is more fun than hexic. Right. Well, how will you know which <laughs> ogre it is if there's not a number next to it? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Crisis Warhead. <laughs> Uh, that's just two game names put together. That's right. <laughs> just because you put a colon in the middle of two words does not mean it's a sequel. Tomb Raider Underworld. Same no. thing. Cross it out mm. at number 20. Sonic Unleashed. Do we cover? I would like to. I, I've yet to see it in motion, actually. Yeah. Uh, Michael? Yeah, every once in a while we have to, you know, have the wool pulled over our eyes a little bit. Wonder. It's like, will they get it right this time? Holy shit, no, but what a ride. I'm going to make an associate decision and say, no, we're not covering that. We just don't have the time. So, sorry, no That's Sonic so Unleashed on Games Radar. Number 18, Mad World. Uh, probably, yeah, if, if it's yeah. there. Yeah, I definitely want to see that. Yeah, it That's looks really, interesting. really, really nice and bloody and insidious. Animal Crossing. If it's there, absolutely. Um, I'm going to say... I'm going to say yes. Time, time consuming. It, it only, it's all dependent on what, what kind of plants you're pulling up. All right, did you hear what I said? What kind of beats you're trading in for Excite Bike? Yeah, that's a good joke. Do you hear what I said? No, uh, because I don't. Because I wanted to love Animal Crossing more than anybody. I'm still on IGN's mailing list for uh, Animal Crossing. Are you done? What? Are you done? Maybe we're covering. It. You know what? I'm gonna put a question mark next to it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Left well, for Dead. Uh, a terrible say, title. Yes. Love it. Yes. Absolute great game. Can't wait to see it. Left for Dead. Check mark. Resistance Two. Uh, yes. That'll yeah, be. We, we yeah. can't not cover that. That's too big. That's I disagree. It's a game we're supposed to care about, but nobody does. I have I have not played that since the week before the PS3 came out. One of my first weeks here at the Games Radar. It's really nostalgic for me. Yeah, but, but like, okay, you have to consider the original Resistance was put together by Insomniac over like a period I of love three Insomniac. days when they found out the PS3 existed, and <laughs> like now they know their shit. It, it has to be better. I can't envision a world where it's not. All right, I'm not going to put a question mark next to it, but I'm going to make a, a face that's tapping his temple. Okay. <laughs> Can the face also be sticking its tongue out? Uh, yeah, biting the edge. All right, no. Kill Zone 2. I'm going to say just not going to be there. Probably not. <laughs> Probably they're, not. They're not going to have Resistance and Kill Zone like, vying for the same attention. They shouldn't be, especially with the same numeric next to it. I'm already confused with it on the list. I predict fake Kill Zone 2 footage with a fake controller with a robotic PR person. Uh, I know they've been doing hands-on with Killzone like in the last several months. Curses. So it has to be there somewhere. We must make a decision. Killzone 2, cover or not? <laughs> I, I'm going to put a big uh over it, which is obscuring it for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Fable 2. Yeah. Uh, I'm so bored of it already. I'm not. I loved Fable 1, and I bought a shitty Xbox disc, and it would just uh, restart me to the beginning after yeah. like nine hours of gameplay. Hey, I can't I, wait to play a proper working version. I want to play it, and I want to grow apples and feed those apples to my dog, which I will then feed to my children, who I will then oh, feed to hi. a monster. Command & Conquer Red Alert 3. That's no. way too many subtitles and headings. No. I'll play Command & Conquer or Red Alert. I'm not going to play both. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually excited for Red Alert. I'll put an MR down there for Michael. <laughs> uh, Far Cry 2. <laughs> no. I thought the first one was really beautiful, but every game in the world looks like it now. No. Prince of Persia. Are we going to cover Prince of Persia? They'll probably go over it in detail if it's, at the press conference. Yeah, if it's there. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and say yes. Final Fantasy thirteen. I heard uh, it's, Square, it's not on Square's list of games that'll be at E3. So I think, if anything, it'll just be a trailer. They'll talk about Chrono Trigger for DS and Last Remnant. And Which is not on the list. Thank you, Next Gen. Yeah. Well, they probably wrote it before that announcement was made. The Chrono Trigger, <laughs> a straight-up remake with no real extra footage. Yeah, but they wrote uh, the Animal Crossing one. Like, I'm not saying Nintendo's going to announce Animal Crossing, but under Brett's theory, the uh, Animal Crossing entry is written like it's a concrete thing. Well, no, we have an official Nintendo magazine in the UK that reported some. Like, I actually have the they, link. I'll. I'll they link didn't it. report it. They hinted towards it in their next issue. No, they big, no big, in the in the last paragraph he says if you've read the newest issue you know oh, animal. He did, no, he, he did say that after the screen leak. Yeah, he's uh, like yeah. then you know Animal Crossing is being announced. So if it's not announced, then this you guy's full of shit. Mistake. I'll buy you some goat cheese. Final uh, Final Fantasy thirteen we won't be covering. Street Fighter four did we cover? We have covered the ball shit out of that game. Like the only the only thing we can milk out of that now is to talk about additional characters. That's that's really about More it. Levels. I want to see if there's a guy a level with that guy uh, pantomiming jerking off in the background. 
<laughs> yes. no, the, the, the graphics have progressed to a point where you should be able to see him actually jerking off in the back. Street. <laughs> He's actually fingering his own urethra. Yes. <laughs> okay. Getting them way in there, up to the knuckle. I'm glad this is the last segment. I'm not going to hear any complaints. <laughs> no bosses about it. <laughs> Street Fighter 4, only for urethra purposes. <laughs> uh, just, Rock Band 2, did we cover? I don't think anybody's interested. Just kidding. We're going to be there just to play a Blondie song. Covered. Little Big Planet is yes. probably the only reason I can, the best reason I can think of to own a PS3. Of course, we're going to cover it. Halo Wars looks boring. I don't know how much that universe can, can sustain something outside of its its genre. Anybody? Anybody? Uh, uh, all we gotta do is put podcast here, people. Oh, I'm do... sorry. Wait, we're Games Radar, therefore the internet thinks we love Halo. So yeah, I guess we we have to because we're contractually obligated because we're owned by Microsoft. That seemed forced. I'm gonna cut it out of the list. No Halo Wars. You'll never see it on this website. People. <laughs> yeah. Spore. Did we cover Spore? Only pornography. Pornography. Anything that. Re- oh God. Anything with a, a nipple, a testicle, or a gaping hinder hole mm-hmm. will be covered. Check Which I mark. think I think Birdo has all three of those. Cheers. <laughs> so yeah, when, when it gets to the space <laughs> design phase and people start designing like airplanes with giant assholes, that's that's. <laughs> oh my God. With their own gravity. Oh. Gears of War two. Do we cover? Oh yeah, we'll be what there. The hell is the Gears of War? We already covered Gears of War one. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think there was a Halo 3 after that. All right. Hey, microphone possible. Follow-up. Number two. Resident, on, on, number two on Next Gen's 30 most anticipated games. Resident Evil 5. I say we cover because I really do need to put killing black people into context. Otherwise, I'm going to have to write my congressman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they'll have Hells some. Up, Brett said it. Yeah, moving on. Number one on... Which I'm going to say, if you can hear a shrug over the podcast, number one on IGN's mo- or, uh, <laughs> dude, number one on Next Gen's most anticipated E3 games, Fallout Three. I'm going to say fuck yes. I ne- all right. I'm going to say I've already got something that works, motherfucker. Brett, yeah. What do you think about Fallout? Uh, 3? Michael said he's got it, so sure. I'm going to make another associate decision and say that I've never played the first two, so we will not be covering Fallout 3. <laughs> Mike will cancel your article. There'll be no Fallout 3. So to go over the list, we Games Radar expect coverage of Borderlands, Beyond Good and Evil 2, Mad World, Animal Crossing, Left 4 Dead, Resistance, Fable 2, Prince of Persia, Rock Band 2, Street Fighter, only the Rethra, <laughs> Command and Conquer, only if Michael finds a time, no Halo Wars, Spore, possible Gears of War 2, Resident Evil 5, Yes, and that is it. You will not find a single other piece of game information <laughs> on our site because we don't Probably give a shit about comprehension. <laughs> Do I have to say I'm just kidding? Uh, listeners, you'll find all that shit on our site. <laughs> it will all be there because most of it already is. Including, if you can, I, I promise I'll try and record a video of me singing and playing at the same time What's the Frequency, Kenneth, on Rock Band 2. Cool, yeah. If that, can, if, if that does exist, that'll be the confirmation for our website that that song exists. Okay, well, we're going to get out of here. Next week, we'll see you in E3. Everybody say goodbye. Bye. Sorry, we pride ourselves in coming in under an hour. Peace, everybody.